Hello everyone, my name is Louis Ning Chong. Um, I'm gonna do this video is gonna be about a uh, landscape drawing. This we at the pencil stage now and I start to um restate the drawing and I start with uh two figures female and female male and female and they are in the beach scene so I restate the drawing but Restating the drawing is uh, basically just uh, sketching it out, and that's all you really do until you satisfy what you have. Then you start a dark. Then you press down the pencil to um sort of to make a fence drawing. As you see, I draw some palm trees there. I draw some more palm trees on the right side also. Uh, sometimes I really uh, make up trees and I change things around to make it more visually interesting. So I draw some clouds in the background and I erase the pencil drawing and then you still see the, the pencil ending of the paper in the paper. Now we at the coloring stage and I use a, a light cerulean blue for the sky. When I color, I color around the, sky, the the clouds and the trees. Right now, I'm using a true blue for the water. Right now, I'm using a, a the nice colors skin tones with a peach and a light peach. The peach is for the, the for the shadows. For the main trunks, I use a perma violet and a shadow for violets for the shadows. The female swimsuit is a canary yellow and yellow equi for the shadows. And for the hair, I use serana brown and dark umber for the shadows. Now I start working on the, the, the green leaves. And I use many greens for the, for the leaves and trees. Uh, colors are lime peel, apple green, lime green, life green, dark green, lime green, and spearmint. And when you do landscapes in colors, always use different greens because it will make it look more um, visually interesting. Besides using the same green again and again throughout the whole landscape art. And add some shadows because the, there are values between uh, light, light, uh, medium, and dark blues. Now, for the trunks of for the palm trees, I use a, a gray, a cool gray 40%, and a warm gray 60%, which is the 60% warm gray most likely for the shadows, actually. And I do yeah, add more green to the the sand, and uh, for the color for the sand, I use a yellow aqua for the sand. Now we're in the inking stage, and I start using uh, black India ink, and I uh, start outlining all the shapes, and I use it for the shapes, to outline the shapes, and to add texture. And um, when I use the line weight, 
whatever is in the background become a lighter uh, lighter lines, and whatever is in the in the foreground we use thicker lines to give it more of a three dimensional effect. As you see, I'm also outlining the.